this problem we're going to solve this differential equation. So this is a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. The reason is, if you were to multiply everything by x cubed, you would get x cubed times x is x to the fourth. And then here you would get plus 10x cubed y triple prime. And then you would notice that the power of x matches the order of the derivative. The power of x matches the order of the derivative. So it is, in fact, a Cauchy-Euler differential equation. So whenever we're doing one of these, we always start by letting y be equal to x to the m. So we have a fourth derivative here. So we have to take the derivative four times. So using the power rule, we bring down the m, and then we subtract 1. So we get x to the m minus 1. We do it again. And then so we get m minus 1 times m, and then subtracting 1 again is x to the m minus 2. We do it again, and then we get m minus 2, m minus 1, m, x to the m minus 3, just keep subtracting 1. And then one more time, our fourth derivative would be m minus 3, m minus 2, m minus 1, m, and x to the m minus 4. Okay, now we're in good shape. Now what we're going to do is plug everything back into the differential equation and solve for m. Okay, that's what we're going to try to do. So we have x times that huge fourth derivative. So that was, let's see, m minus 3, m minus 2, m minus 1, m, and then x to the m minus 4 plus 10, and then we have the third derivative, which is here, right? Because it's 10, and then the third derivative. So m minus 2, m minus 1, m, x to the m minus 3. And that's all equal to 0. Okay, whenever you get to this step, you want to group together the x's. So like here you have x to the 1, and here you have x to the m minus 4. So when you add those, you're going to get x to the m minus 3. Then we're left with m minus 3, m minus 2, m minus 1, and then m. And then here we have x to the m minus 3. I'm going to put it in the front. So plus x to the m minus 3. Then we have 10, m minus 2, m minus 1, and then m. And that's all equal to 0. All right, so now we can factor out x to the m minus 3. So we have x to the m minus 3, and then we have m minus 3, m minus 2, m minus 1, m plus, and then 10, m minus 2, m minus 1, m bracket, and that's equal to 0. We can divide by the m minus 3, so I'm just going to go ahead and cross it out. And then here we have to figure out what to do. So let's see, we have m m minus 1, m minus 2, m, m minus 1, m minus 2. Let's pull that out. So we have m, m minus 1, m minus 2. So if we factor that out, if we factor those guys out, we have m minus 3, boom, plus 10. Yeah, that works, right? m minus 3 plus 10. So we're just pulling this out and pulling this out, and that leaves us with m minus 3 and 10. Beautiful stuff. And that's equal to 0. So we have m, m minus 1, m minus 2. And this one looks like it's going to be m plus 7. That's all equal to 0. So we get four distinct roots that are all real. So 0, 1, 2, and negative 7. So the final answer to this problem would be y equals c1 times x to the 0, but x to the 0 was 1, so I won't write it, plus c2 times x to the 1, which is just x, plus c3 times x squared, kind of cool, plus c4 x to the negative 7. So that would be the final answer, and I hope that made sense.